In this lesson, we're going to talk about how we can convert feet per second to miles per hour. So we have a car that's moving at 90 feet per second. How can we convert this to miles per hour? What we're going to do is we're going to convert feet to miles, and then we're going to convert seconds to minutes and then minutes to hours. So this is going to be a three-step conversion process. Now what is the conversion between feet and miles? You need to know that one mile is equivalent to 5,280 feet. That's going to be our first conversion factor. You also need to know that there's 60 seconds in a minute and there's 60 minutes in one hour. So those are the three conversion factors that we're going to use to do this problem. So right now let's convert feet to miles. Notice that we have the unit feet on top of the fraction on the left. So we're going to put the same unit on the bottom right. So the number that is associated with feet is 5,280 feet. On top we're going to put what we have here one mile. So we need to set up the fractions in such a way that the unit's feet cancels. Now in the next step we're going to convert seconds to minutes using this conversion factor. So notice that we have seconds on the bottom. I need to put the unit seconds on top. So I'm going to put this part 60 seconds on top and then the other part, one minute, on the bottom of the third fraction. So now we can cross out the unit seconds. Now for the last fraction, we're going to use this conversion factor. Since I have minutes on the bottom, I'm going to put minutes on top. So let's write 60 minutes in the numerator of the fourth fraction, and then one hour on the bottom. So now we can cross out the unit minutes. So notice what we're left over. We have miles on top, hours on the bottom. So this is going to give us the answer in miles per hour. So now let's go ahead and plug this in. It's going to be 90. Oh, by the way, when you do the operation, you need to multiply the numbers on top and divide by the numbers on the bottom. So we can take 90, multiply it by 60, and then multiply that by 60 again, and then divide that result by 5,280. So the answer is 61.36 repeating, and the unit is miles per hour. So we can round that and say it's approximately 61.4 miles per hour. If you want to pay attention to significant figures, we only have one. We could round this to 60 miles per hour if we want to round it to one significant figure. Now let's work on another example. So let's say a plane is moving at 800 feet per second. Go ahead and convert that to miles per hour. So feel free to take a minute to try that example. What we need to do is follow the same process. We're going to convert feet to miles, and then we're going to convert seconds to minutes and minutes to hours. So let's go ahead and begin. The order in which we do it won't matter. The final answer will be the same. So let's convert seconds to minutes to hours first. Let's do it a little bit different than before. So there's 60 seconds in a minute, and there's 60 minutes in an hour. And one mile is equivalent to 5,280 feet. The key is how you set it up. 
you want to set it up in such a way that the unit feet cancels. We need seconds to cancel. And we want the unit minutes to cancel as well. In the end, we want miles on top, hours on the bottom, which means we have the unit miles per hour. So now let's do the math. It's going to be 800 times 60 times 60 divided by 5280. Therefore, the answer is going to be 545.5, I mean 0.45 repeated. So that's how you can convert from feet per second to miles per hour. Basically, you need to multiply by 3600 and then divide by 5280. And that's going to give you your answer.